हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स डीजे गणित इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन ऑन रैंडम वेरिएबल्स व्हिच वाज आस्ट इन जीटीयू समर 2022 एग्जाम फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस क्वेश्चन अबाउट इट इज गिवन दैट टू फेयर सिक्स साइडेड डाइस आर टॉस्ड इंडिपेंडेंटली let capital m be the maximum of the two tosses what is the probability mass function of this capital m so here the random experiment is tossing two fair dice and capital m is the maximum of the two tosses so first we uh, write down the sample space for this random experiment we know that if we toss a single die then we have three outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 and, and here we are tossing two dice therefore the sample space will be cartesian product of these two sets 1 2 3 4 5 6 with itself so sample space s for given random experiment is uh, we can fix one here and we write 1 1 One two, one three, one four, one five, and one six. Similarly, uh, we can start with two, and we write two one two two up to two six, and the last uh, row will be six one six two up to six six. So there are total thirty six possible outcomes. The number of possible outcomes. in the uh, random experiment of tossing two dice is 36 here there are six elements and here there are six so 6 into 6 will be equal to 36 which is the number of uh, ordered pairs in the sample space s for tossing this uh, two fair dice now here random uh, here random variable k capital m is defined as maximum of the two tosses so we can understand m in this way suppose i want to find out value of random variable at point 2 3 then it is equal to maximum of 2 and 3 that is equal to 3 so this is the way how given random variable is defined we know that random variable is a function from sample space s to the set of real numbers so for each ordered pair ab we can find out the maximum of these two numbers a and b so that is our random variable capital m so we can write down the possible values for random variable capital m and uh, we can see the possible values are for example if we find out value of random variable m at point 1 1 then maximum of 1 and 1 is 1 so 1 is possible similarly maximum of 2 and 1 will be 2 so in that way possible values of random variable capital m are small m equal to 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 these are six possible values for random variable capital m which is the maximum of the two tosses and we have to write the probability mass function of this random variable capital m so we recall the definition of probability mass function uh, we uh, want to write down probability mass function for random variable capital m so by definition probability mass function of random variable capital m is defined as probability of the event capital m equal to small m so what is meaning of this event capital m equal to small m is this set of elements those elements of sample space s whose image under function m is small m so we have to find out the probability of this set the ordered pair ab such that 
वैल्यू ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल एट ए बी इज इक्वल टू स्मॉल एम फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू राइट डाउन वैल्यू ऑफ प्रॉबलिटी मास फंक्शन एट पॉइंट टू देन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ द इवेंट कैपिटल एम इक्वल टू टू दैट मीन्स आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ दिस सेट आई विल कलेक्ट दोज ऑर्डर पेयर्स इन द सैम्पल स्पेस whose image under capital m is equal to 2 so i have to find out the elements whose image under random variable capital m is 2 and we can start with the first row in first row if we consider this element 1 2 then maximum of 1 and 2 is 2 so 1 1 2 is that element whose image under random variable m is 2 If we consider second row, then we have this possible order pair two one. If we find out maximum of two and one, then it is also two. Similarly, if we consider order pair two two, then here also value of random variable at two two is two. So there are three outcomes in favor of this event. Capital M equal to two, and total number of outcomes are thirty six. So probability of this event. is 3 divided by 36 so in this way uh, we have to find out value of probability mass function at each value of m starting from 1 2 and up to 6 and we will be able to write down the probability mass function of this random variable capital m which is defined as the maximum of the two tosses so you must be clear about the definition of uh, random variable before writing the probability mass function of the random variable so here random variable capital m is a function from sample space s to the set of real numbers and we are defining probability mass function of this random variable m and it is nothing but probability of the event capital m equal to small m and we have to obtain these probabilities for each value of m which is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 i have written all these things systematically here first we have written the random experiment is tossing two dice so the sample space for this experiment is having 36 possible outcomes i have written all the possible outcomes if you wish you can write in this way also if you don't want to write down this big expression you can write order pair ab where a and b can take the values 1 2 3 up to 4 5 6 so there are 36 outcomes in the sample space s now the random variable capital m is defined as the maximum of the two tosses that is value of random variable at this point 1 1 is maximum of 1 and 1 which is 1 similarly maximum of 1 and 2 is 2 maximum of 1 and 3 is 3 and so on so the possible values of random variable capital m are small m equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then we write down the definition the probability mass function of capital m is given by p of small m equal to probability of the event capital m equal to small m this is the notation for this event okay, instead of writing this big set we can write it simply as capital m equal to small m capital m equal to small m represent the event whose elements are order pair ab such that value of random variable at order pair ab is equal to m m equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and we have calculated this value for each value of small m starting from 1 this is value of probability mass function at small m equal to 1 here we take m equal to 1 and by definition this is probability of the event capital m equal to 1 and we have to collect those outcomes from the sample space such that m of ab equal to 1 we have to find out order pair ab 
for which m of ab is 1 and there is only one order pair in the sample space it is 1 1 here we can see if we take value of random variable at point 1 1 this is equal to maximum of 1 and 1 which is 1 then we find out value of probability mass function at small m equal to 2 this we can write in this way also value of pmf at small m equal to 2 which is equal to probability of the event capital m equal to 2 and we have to search for those order pairs such that maximum of the two values is 2 so the candidates are 1 2 2 1 and 2 2 for all these three order pairs maximum of two tosses is two so there are three candidates in favor of this event and total number of outcomes in the sample space are 36 therefore probability of this event is 3 by 36 that means value of probability mass function at small m equal to 2 is 3 by 36 then we find out value of probability mass function at m equal to 3 by definition this is equal to probability that capital M equal to 3 so we have to search for those candidates whose maximum is 3 so here we have 1 3 such that maximum of these two is 3 here we have this pair 2 3 here we have 3 1 3 2 and 3 3 for all these three pairs maximum of the two tosses is 3 so there are total five ordered pairs such that value of capital M at those order pairs is 3 and uh, therefore probability of capital M equal to 3 will be equal to 5 divided by 36 by the definition of probabilities outcomes in favor of this event which are 5 divided by total number of outcomes then we have to calculate value of probability mass function at small m equal to 4 so that is equal to probability that capital M equal to 4 so we have to search for those order pairs such that maximum value is 4 so these are the candidates here we have 1 4 then 2 4 3 4 then 4 1 4 2 4 3 and 4 4 so these are 4 order pairs plus 1, 5, 6 and 7. So there are 7 order pairs in favor of this event m equal to 4. Therefore probability is 7 by 36. This is value of probability mass function of random variable m at m equal to 4. Finally we find out probability that m equal to 5 or value of probability mass function of random variable capital M at M equal to 5 and we search for those candidates such that maximum is 5. So this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 values in favor of this event capital M equal to 5. So the probability is 9 by 36 and finally value of probability mass function at m equal to 6 will be equal to probability of this event m equal to 6 that is we have to search for those order pairs in which maximum value is 6 so 1 6 2 6 then 3 6 4 6 and all these 6 order pairs in all these pairs maximum is 6 so there are 6 and then 7 8 9 10 and 11 there are 11 outcomes in favor of this event capital m equal to 6 therefore probability of this event capital m equal to 6 is 11 by 36 so you can observe here one thing probability that capital m equal to 1 is 1 probability that capital m equal to 2 is 3 by 36 here for m equal to 3 it is 5 by 36 so you can understand the pattern here starting from this first probability here I have 1 then 3 then 5 then 7 and then 9 and then 
eleven. So we are having odd numbers starting from one. So we can see that uh, we have one by thirty six, then three by thirty six, five by thirty six, seven by thirty six, nine by thirty six, and eleven by thirty six. So we can write in general. Uh, this is for m equal to one. For m equal to one, we have one by thirty six. For m equal to two, we have three by thirty six. Then three, four, five, and six. So we can write this as here. You can see all these are odd numbers, or there is a difference of two. This is arithmetic progression. First term is one, and uh, the difference between consecutive terms or successive terms is two. So this I can write as two m minus one divided by thirty six. For example, if I take m equal to one, I will have one by thirty six. If I take m equal to two, I will have two into two minus one, that is three by thirty six. If I take m equal to three, I will have five by thirty six, and so on. So we are getting the formula. For probability mass function, we can write probability mass function in this way. Value of probability mass function at small m is given by 2m minus 1 divided by 36, where m equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So therefore, I have written in this way. Thus, the probability mass function of random variable m is p of Small m equal to 2m minus 1 divided by 36. If m equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 0 otherwise. So this is our answer. We are asked to find out the probability mass function of the random variable capital M, which is defined as maximum of the two tosses. So this is very easy question. You must be familiar with the definition of probability mass function and you must be familiar with this thing that whenever we write capital x equal to small x then this is not an equation it is the event that we have to collect those outcomes in the sample space s such that value of random variable at those outcomes is small x so every time we are not comfortable in writing this big expression so this capital x equal to small x is the notation for this event here instead of capital x we have random variable capital m and uh, the corresponding value is denoted by small m so capital m equal to small m is the event that we collect all those outcomes in the sample space s such that value of random variable capital m at outcome ab order per ab is m and probability of all these events will give us probability mass function of random variable capital m so generally they can ask you this type of problems and i think if you are familiar with the definition of random variable and probability mass function this is very easy question and if you are not familiar with those definitions you can watch my lectures uh, starting from lecture 1 on random variables and then go for this lecture so that is fine i hope you like this lecture thanks for watching